Do you want to control scenes in your house by pressing a button? Stay tuned. Hello people and welcome to another episode of Everyday Smart. Today we're going to be showing how you can control scenes in your house by pressing a button. And in this case, the button that we're going to be using is from a switch. So let's review real quick the devices that we're going to be using. So as usual, we're going to be using a hub. In this case, we're going to be using Hubitat. And then for devices, what I'm going to be using is this Zeus Smart Switch, which also has the capability for scene controlling. So those are the two basic devices. You might have different devices, but you can apply the same concept. So let's get to it. So I mentioned already, we're going to be using Habitat Elevation for this automation. And the app that we're going to be using is Rule Machine. So click on Rule Machine, click on Create New Rule. Give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it scene control. Click select trigger events and then click on select capability for new trigger event and select the option for button device. Now you get the option to select the button device that you want to use. So click there and select the button device that you want to use. In my case, I'm going to be using the kitchen light. Remember, this is the switch that I have for controlling the light. It's just that we're going to be using it in a different way. So select your button device, click update. Now we want to add actions. So click on add a button action and Click on select button number. So in this case, this Zeus switch, the paddle for turning it on is the button number one. And then for turning it off is the button number two. So I'm going to start with the one. Now select the button operation. This is what you're going to be doing for that button. So in this case, I want to use the double tap. So now that we have selected the specific button and the specific operation of that button, which is the double tapping, you can click on that newly created rectangle. So click there, click on select action type to add. And in this case, remember that what I want to control is other switches. So I'm going to do control switches. Click on select which action, and in this case, since it's the on paddle, button number one, I want to turn switches on, and then I want to select my switches. So this is the kitchen light, so I want that whenever I double tap the kitchen light switch for turning on, I want that light to turn on as well, but I also want other lights to turn on automatically. So the other lights that I want to turn on is this living room light, I also want to turn on this dining room light. So that's it for now. Click update. Click done with this action. Click done with action for button one, double tap. And now we have actions assigned already for that specific operation. Now we know that we have another button, so we can click here and add another button action. And we can establish what to do for button number two. And again, same thing, double tap. So now in this new rectangle here, click it, select action type to add. Remember that the button number two is the off button of the switch. So that's what I want to do as well. Click on control switches, select which action, turn switches off. You can do other things. In my case, I want to turn those switches off, but you can select any other of these options that appear there. For selecting the switches, I want to select the same switches. So it's dining room light, living room light, and kitchen light. 
in this case, I want to do something additional. And that is if I happen to have my living room fan on, I want to turn it off as well. So living room fan off, click update. Those are all the devices that we're going to be controlling. Click on done with this action. Click on done with action for button to double tap. And that's basically it. We already established which is the button device that we're going to be using for this. And we already established the operations and the actions that we're going to be doing for each of the buttons of this button device. So click on done. And that's it. See, usually when you finish your trigger events, you go back to the window that allows you to select the actions. But in this case, for button device, everything you need to do is right there in that same window. And when you click done, then all the rule is created already. You don't have to go back and select separately the different actions. So click on done here. And by now you have the rule completely created. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel as well, and share with anyone that you think might be interested in watching these videos. Also, remember to click on the bell icon so you get notified for my future videos. Again, thank you for watching and let's take a look at the role.